I'm just kidding. I'm not doing that anymore. Okay, got back to the old sound. But that was a lot of fun. But it was also kind of short, which leaves us with a little bit of time. So let's jump over to the Discord and check out what you guys are making on What You Making. Now, the Discord channel has blown up. The, the What You Making channel is going crazy since I did one of these last time, which is super exciting. But it does mean I'm going to kind of skip around. And if you posted something on What You Making and I don't show it, uh, just keep posting on What You Making. You'll make it into a future video at some point. But I can no longer show them all, which is, which is wonderful. It means that if you want to see more of these, you should jump on my Discord, go to what you're making, see what other people are making, and maybe show off a little bit yourself, like these right here, Tamer Physics, really cool hexagonal shells that he, he makes, he screws them onto the wall, he's got little drawers, oh, that is inspiring, and it's modular, I absolutely love it. Sweet B 52 has a great maker coin, which she has changed, you know, she changes the color at layer heights, and boom, she gets that multiple colors in there. And Sweet B also made a vase mode that, again, she changed colors as she go on, and it reminded me of my 3D printed tie project, because, yeah, I also had to, like, keep track of where I was changing layers and stuff like that. So good job, Sweet B52. Michael's 3D printed R2 robot. He has lots and lots of pictures on the Discord channel. I can't go over all of them, and it's getting really, really close. So jump on there if you want to see more of them. We'll, we'll revisit this in just a second. User L is making a cryptic, which I haven't talked much about on this channel. I should do a video about cryptics because they're super cool. Have you guys seen Astrobox or, or Astroprint? It's an alternative to Octoprint, and it looks like user HackMonkey is playing with it on the, on the What You Making channel, so go check that out. We got into a little uh, Pinewood Derby discussion about prints that people have done with their Pinewood Derbies. Here's a couple of medals that were made by user Doc Siebel, and here's a couple of other... I think that he just 3D printed the stands for this or something, but still super, super, super cool. Oh, and uh, there's a 3D printed Pinewood Derby car, which is a project I've always wanted to do but never have done. I wanted to make it look like the Batmobile. I'm not sure which Batmobile, but it's probably going to be one of the classic ones. Oh, uh, I guess Michael M., the uh, the guy who's making the R2-D2, he, he already did the Batmobile. I don't care. I'm going to do it to myself. Blue Dust has a Xenomorph. Pretty cool. Renaissance Tinkerdorf is showing off his, his uh, stained glass. That's not 3D printed. I think there might be some 3D printed parts in there, but you know what? What you're making isn't just for 3D printing. If you've got something that you're making... If you're knitting, I don't care. You're making, and I think you should show it off. I love to see those projects. I love to see non-3D printed projects. So Renaissance Tinkerdork, love your stained glass. And it launched into a discussion with other people sharing their stained glass projects, which I think is super cool. There's another stained glass. I think that's Renaissance Tinkerdork again. Have you ever thought, I love Pop-Tarts, but they have too much crust around the edge? Yeah, me neither. But apparently D Glow has, so he made a little thing that you can put your Pop Tarts in and it will just pop out the delicious middle parts. Hey, somebody had a problem that they needed solved. I got his name wrong last time, but Chrismon P made a phone case and it looks like he used a similar technique to the one that uh, uh what's his name? The the make anything guy made. Where, although I don't think that he did a good job of making it relief, maybe he just did colors right on top of each other, but it works. Multicolor, phone case, pretty cool. Norda Caron has a pretty cool little organizer for his brand new Adventure 3 3D printer from Flash Forge. So that's pretty cool. He just got one and he made this organizer, which is interesting because that was one of the first prints that I did for my first 3D printer. So pretty cool. You know, I'm not normally going to showcase my projects, but I am starting to work with electronics and Arduinos. And uh, although this wasn't an Arduino, this was simply wiring two things up in parallel. But uh, yeah, I'm starting to play with electronics and breadboards. And would you guys like to see more of that in future videos? Because you're probably going to get to see more of that in future videos. Blue Dust is printing to low-poly dynos, and uh, I'm I'm impressed. I love it. D-Glow got himself a dual color mixing, which 
I kind of said in my last video that there are no color mixing 3D printers. I was wrong. There are dual color mixing. I was thinking like quad, but yeah, there are dual ones out there that actually work. Look at this beautiful blend that he got from black to gold pearlescent PLA. That's absolutely gorgeous. Some more of that R2D2 effect. Let's see if this will come through on the video right there. Oh, you probably can't hear it. Oh, let's see. Let's turn on the sound. There you go. <laughs> How cool is this thing? It's super neat, man. So yeah, you should go check out the What You Making channel. Let me turn that off. You should go check out the What You Making channel and see and show off what you're making or check out what other people are making. It's been just amazing, guys. Thank you so much for making my Discord channel a success. And I will see you there in the future. Thank you very much for watching. Hey, if I mentioned anything in this video, you'll find a link to it in the cards and you should check that out. Did you know that I'm social? I've got links to all the socials and you should stop by and say hi. I really kind of enjoy it when that happens. Big thanks go out to my direct backers. And if you want to know more about how you can become that, there'll be a link right here that you can check out. And as always, I want to remind you safety first because I care about you and I'll see you next time. Oh, that's interesting. Classic one there.